Today, I'm going to talk to you on how racism can affect your life. Do you believe that racism started from the Old Testament? If you want to know how, keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Afalake Janet Oyelami. Before I go deeply into today's topic, let me give the keyword that summarizes today's topic. Today's keyword says, Peter, Jesus' disciple, was the worst racist among the disciples 2,000 years ago. Actually, during Abraham's time, God told them not to marry or befriend Gentiles that are not Jewish. But Jesus coming to the world made us to understand that God wants everyone back to him. That was why God told Peter to go and speak to a Gentile, other skin colored person, or other people that are not Jewish, whom God sent to Peter. If you still act as racist in this century, that shows old mindset is still in you. God changed Peter's mindset to love everyone. So, why are you still adopting the old mindset? I would like to share some truth about racism today. Do you believe that it started in the Bible? But before I tell you how it started, what exactly? is the meaning of racism. Racism means prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism by an individual, community, or institution against a person or people on the basis of their membership of a particular racial or ethnic group. I want you to know today that God created good and bad he also created racism. I'm not saying God is wicked, but here is what happened in the Old Testament. The act of man, God sees that is full of evil, but God is looking for people who will voluntarily choose to serve him, just like Abraham. When God searched everywhere, even among the Canaanite and the Moabite, he was searching for who is ready to love him and obey him, but he found none. Then God kept searching and he finally got to Abraham's country. Actually, they were worshipping other gods there, but God went to Abraham and said, Abraham, leave your fathers out. Abraham never knew this God. He never knew who this God is. But when he had the voice, he obeyed and left his father's house. God was so surprised and very happy about what Abraham did. And for that reason, God swore by his name that he will bless Abraham forever and his generation, that whosoever caused him shall be caused, because he obeyed God, even though he doesn't know him. I'm gradually going to take you step by step to let you know what people say about racism and where it started from. Based on Abraham's obedience, God was so happy with him, and he was trying to protect Abraham at from getting corrupt. So he told Abraham, do not marry the Moabite, do not marry the Canaanite, because if you marry them, they will corrupt your mind and take you away to serve their God. Like we always say this proverb that, show me the friend you are working with and I will show you how you will end your life. If you walk with the right friend, 
you will do the right thing. If you walk with the wrong friend, you will continue to do the wrong thing. That is exactly the meaning of what God told Abraham. Do not marry a Canaanite. So my understanding, and if you agree with me, that is exactly what we term to be racism in this generation. So this commandment, Abraham passed it to his children. And from one generation to the other generation, they kept on passing this commandment. Never marry Canaanites. Never marry Moabites. Never miss with them. Because they believe Moabites and Canaanites and any other country will corrupt them and take them away from serving God. Then God noticed that the more he tried to protect Abraham from these people, the more the Canaanite, the Moabite, and all other, other country are moving further away from God. So God said, He will send Jesus Christ to bring everybody, including the Canaanites, including the Moabite, including the Africa, including the, 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 the white, including the black, that Jesus coming to this world to die and rose on the third day will bring everybody back to him. If we look at Jesus' lifestyle, we will notice that both black and white and Canaanite and the Jewish and the Moabite and the black, all, all of them were his friend. And we also notice that Jesus never looked down on anyone. Even after Jesus' death and resurrection, Jesus' disciples, especially Peter, were only preaching to those people in their country. Then God went to Peter and showed him a particular dream that surprised him. In the dream, God told Peter to eat forbidden animal. And Peter said, no, he can't eat it. The second time, God told him, eat those forbidden animal that God said he should not eat. He said, never, he can never eat forbidden animal. The third time, God told him to eat forbidden animals. He said, he can never eat it because they have been commanded not to eat it. Finally, God told Peter, the meaning of the dream meant that all those people God has told them in the Old Testament do not associate with the Canaanite, the Moabite. He said, go to them and preach the gospel. That shows to us that God loves everyone. In the Old Testament, he said, don't associate with them. In the New Testament, he said, associate with them and bring them back to me. So, no more racism. This shows that Jesus Christ's death and resurrection has given everyone on earth the opportunity to become a friend of God again. Although God said in the Old Testament, don't associate with them. But God reviewed his commandment again and said, bring them back to me through your love towards them. Let me tell you this and I will advise you today. You got to try your best to take off the old mindset of your mind most people from different culture we say the people from nigeria do this do that the people from ghana do this do that the people from uganda do this do that the people from america do this do that the way they behave 
I don't like it. The way you behave, I don't like it. Hear this truth. If you want the highest success you desire in life, you got to love everyone on earth as you love yourself. God said old things are passed away, new things are here now. Racism is not of God. Hating one another is not from God. If you want to go to the next level, you want to achieve your success, the Bible made us to understand that you have to be at peace with everyone. The successful love everyone as they love themselves. The successful forgive quickly. The successful forget about the past. The successful look forward for the next level. If you are still complaining about others' culture, others' belief, others' personalities, it's better you drop it today because, because racism does not take you anywhere. Because disrespecting other people's belief, other people's personalities, other people's behavior, disrespecting it does not take you to the next level. I hope this impacts you. I hope it does encourage you to love everyone as you love yourself so that you can achieve a greater success in life. Speak to you soon. God bless.